In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on November 25th, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Ohio State vs. Michigan Renowned as the game, this showdown between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines stands as the pinnacle of college football rivalries, a colossal event hosted at the Big House with over 107,000 avid spectators. It transcends being merely a game. It's an annual spectacle that resonates with fans and holds unmatched significance. The stakes are monumental this year, with not just the Big Ten title on the line but also potential national championship implications. Both powerhouses enter the fray with unblemished 11-0 records, boasting identical 8-0 Big Ten standings, setting the stage for an unforgettable battle on Saturday, December 2nd at Michigan Stadium. The Ohio State Buckeyes, having triumphed in a commanding 37-3 victory over Minnesota in their last outing, showcase an offensive prowess led by Kyle McCord's impressive 2,899 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, and a mere four interceptions. Trevayon Henderson's 794 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns at a potent ground game. Complemented by the receiving prowess of Marvin Harrison Jr. and the defensive tenacity of players like Tommy Eichenberg and JT Tuamalu. On the flip side, the Michigan Wolverines, fresh off a hard-fought 31-24 win against Maryland, bring to the field J.J. McCarthy's 2,335 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, and four interceptions, while the dynamic running back Blake Corum has amassed 888 yards and an impressive 20 touchdowns. Defensive standouts like Junior Carlson and Jalen Harrell contribute to their formidable lineup, creating a team that's equally adept at offense and defense. As the two teams prepare to clash, an intriguing subplot emerges in the form of their exceptional pass defenses, ranking first and second in the nation. Both squads emphasize a ground game, with Ohio State averaging 145.5 rushing yards per game and Michigan boasting 171 yards per game. In a contest where passing avenues may be limited, the focus on the running game becomes paramount, making the rushing statistics a critical element in the impending clash. With both teams allowing a mere 9 points per game, a defensive battle is anticipated. The running game, with Ohio State's 145.5 yards per game against Michigan's 171 yards per game, will likely be the linchpin. The expectation is a hard-fought, low-scoring affair, a classic Big Ten-style football game where control in the closing moments could be the deciding factor, potentially concluding in the last possession. Field goals become integral in such contests, and fortunately, both teams boast accuracy, with Ohio State converting 14 of 16 attempts and Michigan successfully making 9 of 11. A slight home field advantage for Michigan, coupled with their solid kicking game, could give them a three-point edge, according to the prevailing sentiment. However, recent signs of vulnerability in Michigan's game, as evidenced in their matchup against Maryland, suggest potential weaknesses that Ohio State might exploit. The Buckeyes, with their potent passing game, particularly in the cold weather conditions both teams are accustomed to, could find an edge, especially with Marvin Harrison Jr. as a key offensive weapon. While Michigan may have had a brief lapse against Maryland, the upcoming clash against Ohio State demands a different level of preparation. The Wolverines cannot rely solely on their running game, given Ohio State's formidable defense. McCarthy's recent struggles, coupled with Ohio State's defensive prowess, make the passing game a potential key to victory for the Buckeyes. In this closely contested matchup, the expectation is for Ohio State to come out on top potentially leveraging the weaknesses exposed in Michigan's recent performance. The prediction is for a very close game, with even a potential Ohio State loss expected to be within a margin of three points. The anticipation is not just for a thrilling game but also for the broader implications on the college football landscape. 
The prospect of a spot in the college football playoff adds an extra layer of significance, making this clash between two of the best teams in the country even more compelling. The stage is set for a historic Michigan-Ohio State matchup, a game that transcends regular season significance, akin to an annual postseason bowl tilter. So the Ohio State Buckeyes to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. As we delve into the total, the narrative shifts to the high stakes and historical offensive performances witnessed in the past nine years of this clash. Both teams have consistently found offensive success in their matchups, setting the stage for an offensive spectacle. The culmination of these factors paints a vivid picture of a clash that goes beyond football. It's a yearly spectacle that defines the essence of college football rivalries. Trusting the historical trend over the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical vs. LSU In a highly anticipated Southeastern Conference West showdown marking the culmination of the regular season, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical gears up to face off against the 14th-ranked LSU on Saturday. The Aggies, with a season record of 7-4 straight up and 4-3 in the Southeastern Conference, showed dominance against Abilene Christian in their recent outing, clinching a 38-10 victory straight up but falling short against the spread as hefty minus 40 favorites at home. Meanwhile, the LSU Tigers, holding an 8-3 straight-up record and 5-2 in the Southeastern Conference, displayed their prowess with a commanding 56-14 win against Georgia Southern as substantial minus 32 favorites. The Heisman Trophy conversation adds an extra layer of excitement to this clash, with Jaden Daniels emerging as a standout candidate. Despite not possessing a vote, the impact of Daniels on the field is undeniable. In the previous matchup against Georgia State, he orchestrated a spectacular offensive performance throwing for 413 yards and six touchdowns. LSU sees an average of 47 points on offense coupled with a defense allowing 27 and a half points per game sets the stage for an intriguing showdown. While Texas Agricultural and Mechanical searches for a new head coach, they carry momentum with two consecutive victories, the latest being a decisive 38-10 triumph over Abilene Christian. Quarterback Jalen Henderson showcased his prowess, completing 16 of 23 passes for 260 yards yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Averaging 34 and a half points on offense and conceding 19 and a half points per game on defense, the Aggies are poised for a compelling matchup against the offensive powerhouse that is LSU. The historical head-to-head -head records favor LSU with a 35 to 23 to 3 Sioux advantage, asserting their dominance in recent meetings at 7 to 3 straight up and an impressive 9 to 1 against the spread over the last 10 encounters. The Aggies' last win in Baton Rouge dates back to 1994, setting the stage for a challenging battle this Saturday. Despite the resilient Aggies' defense, LSU's offensive dynamism, led by Daniels, poses a significant threat. The Tigers' resurgence post-Alabama defeat adds an element of unpredictability, so the LSU Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical's recent offensive surge, averaging 38 and a half points in their last four games, adds a layer of intrigue. LSU, boasting the top-ranked offense, led by the exceptional Jaden Daniels, poses a formidable challenge. Their offensive prowess, exemplified by high-scoring bouts against Florida State and Auburn, is complemented by a defense that has struggled against potent attacks, as evidenced by their recent matchup against Florida. Recent trends indicate a high-scoring affair. LSU's offensive juggernaut, marked by consistently surpassing the 52-point mark in three of their last four games, aligns with the overtrend at 9-1 in their last 10 outings. While the historical meetings present a mixed bag with a 5-5 over-under record, recent encounters lean towards higher-scoring affairs, with the over hitting five out of the last seven times. As the regular season concludes, the expectation is set for an offensive showcase. The duel between Daniels and the vulnerable Texas agricultural and mechanical secondary is anticipated to be a highlight, promising a shootout that transcends expectations. The stage is set for a captivating showdown, and fans can anticipate a fitting conclusion to the Southeastern Conference regular season with a thrilling display of gridiron prowess. In the grand finale, a surge in scoring is predicted. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. 
Kentucky vs. Louisville In a highly anticipated matchup, the Kentucky Wildcats are set to clash with the Louisville Cardinals in a thrilling interstate interconference game, marking the culmination of their regular season finales. The coveted Governor's Cup trophy is on the line, adding an extra layer of intensity to this relatively newer series in college football, which commenced in 1994. This annual battle has become one of the standout interconference rivalries between the Atlantic Coast Conference and Southeastern Conference, with the Wildcats currently holding a narrow 19-15 series lead and riding a momentum of four consecutive victories. The stage for this gridiron showdown is set at the L&N Federal Credit Union Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky on November 25th. As the Wildcats gear up for this crucial encounter, they enter the game with a 6-5 overall record but are looking to bounce back after suffering two consecutive losses. In their recent matchup against South Carolina, Kentucky faced a tough challenge, managing to score only 14 points, leading to a narrow three-point defeat. Quarterback Devin Leary, who completed 17 of 34 passes for 171 yards, one touchdown, and one interception in the last game, will play a pivotal role in the Wildcats' offensive strategy. Kentucky's season average of 28 points per game emphasizes the importance of a strong offensive performance, especially against the Cardinals' defense. Louisville, on the other hand, sits comfortably at 10 to 1 and has already secured a spot in the Atlantic Coast Conference Championship game. However, they understand the significance of not over overlooking their interstate rivals, as demonstrated in their previous games against Kentucky. The Cardinals' defense, which has been instrumental in their success, is preparing to face a Kentucky team that has showcased resilience in the past. Despite some key injuries, Louisville remains creative in its offensive approach, relying on players like Isaac Garendo and employing a tight end focus strategy to compensate for the absence of primary running backs. Louisville's defensive prowess, ranking 21st nationally, poses a significant challenge for Kentucky especially considering the Wildcats' recent offensive struggles. Facing a Cardinals defense that allows only 317 yards and 18 points per game, Kentucky's task of maintaining offensive consistency becomes even more daunting. With quarterback Leary's completion rate at 56.4%, the Wildcats may find it challenging to exploit any weaknesses in the Cardinals' defense. Adding to the narrative, Louisville has excelled on their home field, boasting a perfect 6-0 record, including notable victories over top ranked opponents such as Notre Dame and Duke. Despite a potential look-ahead scenario with the Atlantic Coast Conference Championship looming, the Cardinals remain focused on ending their four-game losing streak to Kentucky, making this season particularly magical for them. In terms of the Governor's Cup, Louisville appears to have the edge this year. The Cardinals' well-balanced offense, ranking 28th in rushing yards and 47th in passing yards per game, is expected to pose significant challenges for the Wildcats. Quarterback Jack Plummer's ability to distribute the ball effectively to a diverse set of of receivers could once again be a key factor in Louisville's offensive success. So the Louisville Cardinals to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Turning attention to the total pick, the game between these rivals last year was a low-scoring affair, but with key player changes, especially at the quarterback position, there's a perceived value in the line this year. Despite a historically low total assigned to this rivalry game, the expectation is that scoring will be prevalent throughout, leading to a projection surpassing the set total of 50.5. Thus, the full game total pick leans towards the over, promising an exciting and high-scoring showdown for spectators. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.